Hello and welcome to our weekly update of the African Nightcrawler bin. It's in my basement and this is how I keep it. This is just some uh, fabric for uh, shade and I double it up and use it to cover the top of the bin. This is to help with air circulation as well as um, preventing fruit flies and it gives them darkness. And of course, I keep uh, a lot of dry shredded paper. Same thing, it, it helps control the fruit flies as well as give a lot of uh, air uh, in the bin. So let me remove that and we'll start our um, update. And we're back, removed all the paper. And now we can see what's going on. So I fed last week in this area right here. And before I check on that, I always like to go throughout the bin and see in what condition the bottom, the bottom is and if there's any smells or, you know, if there are dry spots or wet spots. And of course, because this is a deeper bin, I have to dig further down to air out the material, but you can see it's really nice and fluffy, no clumps. worms are, as usual, spread out throughout the bin. I'm lifting things up and I can see here and there. I think because this bin is so large, um, I don't feel that density of the worms that I know I have in here. But that's okay. More room for them to spread out very, very nice stuff. Everything flakes apart, super easy. And even at the very bottom, there is no standing liquid of any kind. Kidoki. So, we're going to go to this side. And I, I gave them watermelon, I believe, last week. They should have eaten through that. Mm, lots of youngsters. I like to see that. It looks like they did. It looks like they ate through the whole thing. Yep, I'm digging and digging and I'm not finding anything. So the watermelon was a hit. And that's good because we have some more watermelon for them. Yeah, these are the skins. This is the last thing to go the skins of the fruit. I find that skins of any fruit really, not just watermelon. Good job, guys. Yeah, there's, uh, there's actually a lot more babies around the watermelon area than anywhere else. Okie dokie. So, since everything is looking great, 
and they finished the food we are going to go back to this area right here since the week before that we fed here we'll feed in this area dig out our pocket and oops forgot my uh my paper Go bag of cardboard and paper, which I give them with every feeding. Okie dokie. I have a lot of watermelon because, after all, this is watermelon season. And we love our watermelon. It looks like they love their watermelon too. I think that should do it. Some coffee grounds. Eggshells. Cover it up. And mark. This way I don't have to uh, Try and remember where I fed. And that's it. They're doing well. And actually, oh God, I have so many babies. I'm so thrilled. You cannot imagine. I have to figure out when I'm going to harvest this bin. I just, just got through harvesting my European Nightcrawler bin and I'm not looking forward to harvesting another 45 gallon bin. But this stuff looks to be really flaky and nice and um, different quality than the castings from the European Nightcrawler. So this might be really an interesting uh, harvest to do to see if there's any difference in um, how quickly they, the worms will move out of the castings and give me an opportunity to, uh, to sift. Okay, that's another update, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.